Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am Veos, and welcome to another episode. I believe this is part 5 of the Community Space Station build, where we build a space station with community parts, um, or crafts, and uh, put it up there using the SSRT. So, now in front of us we have something from Canadian Space Program, and it's a habitation module. Uh, I've already went ahead and fixed it so I can go ahead and actually put it into the actual... SSRT craft file, but I'm going to tell you right now, it looks a little too big. We might have to rescale it, but let's go ahead and save it as is. Open. All right, we're looking. Ooh, it's already going into the uh, cargo bay there, and it's actually popping out the other end. I don't know if we'll be able to use that part. Well, I'll be... Wait a minute. What happens if I put it on top and I close it? Well, that's still... Well, okay, well, it works now. Okay, awesome. Well, you lucked out, my friend. You lucked out. Okay, let's go ahead and bring this bad boy up here. I forgot. We need to do something before we do this. Let's go ahead and save as is. But we need to go up there and fix the situation that's up in orbit right now. We have two SSRTs that are up there. One's an older version. One's a newer version. The newer version is out of fuel, and the older version... You know, version which is like a version, has gas. So, I'm gonna try to save both of them, but I only have so much time. It's seven o'clock at night now. Let's try to get this done as fast as we can. Oh, snap, okay. And rendezvous with the older one. Put fuel in it, deorbit both of them, perhaps at the same time. Nothing bad has ever come from deorbiting two things at once. Okay, well, they're both out of fuel. That means they're... Uh, crap. Maybe that wasn't the best thing in the world to do, but... Here we go. Alright, we're going to try to keep an eye on it, but KSP might delete both of them once it gets at a certain range, and there's nothing I can do about that. Good old... KSP. <laughs> looks like we got through the atmosphere though. Okay, looks like parachutes are ready to go, so I'm gonna go ahead and deploy them now. Oh, really? You guys saw me hit the thing, didn't you? I hit the frickin' space bar. And it sh this one made it sort of, kind of, maybe. <laughs> well, I'll be damned. Huh, uh, uh. So, one landed all right, and one crashed. Beautiful. I think that's the best one we've ever had. The best rendezvous we've ever had. All right, so... I just remembered that we went ahead and monopropellant because I felt sorry for, you know, brutally murdering and murdering the craft. Actually, I should refuel it completely. Okay, yeah, well, it's going relatively smoothly. This has been the smoothest launch ever. <laughs> Look at that. That is actually pretty beautiful. Now, if we could just get Izzy's solar panel array complete. You know what? I'm going to do that. I'm, I'm sorry, Izzy. It's been too many episodes. Let's go ahead and fix this for you.
All right, well, that was one of the smoothest launches I have ever had. I am not going to get this lucky ever again. I guarantee you that. I'm going to try to make a Friday Night Horror video game video. But I hear the kind of the new thing going around right now is finding Bigfoot. I'm going to go ahead and download it and see if I can't find Bigfoot. This weekend, I am really going to try hard to finish Solar Nations Part 17. No guarantees. If I don't come out with Solar Nation 17 this weekend, then I'll come out with just uh, another one of these videos. But, cross your fingers. Thank you so much for watching. I am Veos, and I will see you in the next video. Signing off.